Well, hello there and good day. Thank you for joining me. I am Frost PDP, and today we're playing a little Crusader Kings 2, and we're talking about Vassal Republics. Uh, Vassal Republics are a great way to make money, all right? I mean, Vassal Republic is a republic that belongs to you, that pays its taxes to you. City taxes, it's hopefully very high when you go to your laws and you go to your uh, obligations. You want them to be tax shifted because very rarely do they have a lot of troops anyway. So, yeah, you might as well just do this. And in the process, you need to find a suitable male. Now, there are two ways to do this. One is you can go to the find character screen. You pick a man who is your religion, your culture, not a ruler, and not in prison. You sort by stewardship, and you would get this guy. And believe me he's a great candidate for a vassal republic but I want to keep it within my dynasty if possible so I'm gonna pick my son who's got the best stewardship and it's not gonna be a great score it's only a nine right he's got the best stewardship of all my sons that are not in prison for being you know living a life of haram this guy's not house arrest he's not as good in anyway so I'm gonna pick this son He's, oh, plus he's got 17 military and he's an organizer. That means that I can later on in his life probably use him as his commander and just be awesome, right? This is a guy I would want to be serving directly under me anyway. So what you do is you grant him a city. Now, I have this particular duchy. It's the Duchy of Tunis. Do I need to create it? No, I, I own it. And you make, have to make sure you have the duchy title. That's essential because you have to make this character a duchy tier character. Right now he's just a courtier. So I need to find what city is within this land. And it's the city of Seuss. So I need to go to this character who is my son. Who I've toggled his special interest. Grant landed title. City of Seuss. And then include lower titles. I always hit that just so that I make sure I have that organized. This makes him a mayor. Now I can grant the land, and by the way, if you have, if you conquer land, that's maybe you keep the top holding of it, but the below holdings all have their own guys. You can just click the mayor and do the next step of this anyway. If you have the county level title, you then turn around and you grant them the county that they're living in, the Sheikdom of Tunis. You do this. And now he's got a silver ring. That means he's uh, Wali. It says, but that's this more like a account tier republic right republic vassal now for the big kahuna you grant them wait a minute something's not right I have to see I made a mistake you have to usurp the emirate I was looking I apologize for that error I was looking at this and I said oh yeah I have it you have to actually look at the duchy tier, so just forgive me for making that obvious mistake. Uh, boom. You usurp it. It's now mine. I grant it to this kid. The Emirates of Tunis include lower titles. And it spawns the merchant houses. Now, we're getting somewhere. His heir is just some random dude, in my kinsman, but that's fine. He's a merchant republic. He'll start making trade posts. He'll start expanding. And very soon, you'll have trade zones. Or at least you'll be competing for trade zones. And it's so early in the game that very few people have a great number of trade posts as it is. So maybe not here, but somewhere, these guys will get their trade posts. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this little bit of knowledge please hit the like and subscribe buttons that way you'll know when there's more little lessons coming out if there are uh, it lets me know that you're enjoying watching me do these little things and that means I need to make more of them that's a good thing too as always on this channel La Paz